Okay. The sun is moving around, so it's not so in my face. But I know that um, it cut off on me, so I'm back to finish my commentary and what I was going to say. Now, um, in my opinion, and this is strictly my opinion, I don't do commentaries really on my channel, especially about the basketball wives and all that kind of stuff because I don't watch their show. But um, if you can see, I'm uploading the videos here, and I'm kind of watching it as I edit it and put it together. Um, but, um, what was I getting ready to say? Oh, I was talking about, um, Chrissy and, and, oh boy. Well, you know, and I speak of a woman because, and though it might not be the case that he is cheating on her because it's obvious that he does care about her and you can tell that, hold on, let me, let me pause that right there. You can tell that he loves her because of his emotion pertaining to her, okay? But, you know, he's definitely battling some things. What it is, I don't know. I don't know this couple. Never met him before in life. I'm just a viewer, just as you guys are a viewer, and I'm just simply giving, you know, my spin on the, my, my spin on the show from last night. But in my opinion, I seriously believe that he's battling some things you know, and a lot of times, see, because men, you know, they, they, their worth and they, they, their value system has a lot to do with their possessions a lot of times. You know, their woman, their car, their money, their place. That is where, you know, and a man, a lot of times they feel like, you know, wherever they put their money at, that's where they consider that as home. Now, yeah, you could be a sideline hoe and just be fucking him on some, you know, some dumb shit. But if you're not getting no money out the deal, you're, he's not putting you in a safe car. He's not um, putting you in a nice place. He's not spending no cheddar on you. Then guess what? You're simply a sideline hoe. So, you're nothing. It's like you have no you have no worth with him. Now, being that she's driving a G wagon, apparently that's probably her car. Because uh, when I was asking, I think I was asking Jody, and Jody said, um, I think that was Jody. Was it Jody or my auntie? And they were saying, no, she's been driving that car for a minute. I was like, she has a really nice car. Um, I have a friend that also has a G wagon, and they're, they're really really nice. I think they're out of production though, but I love that little truck. And that was a truck that I wanted. I was never, um, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, feel like they've reached a certain, you know, pivotal, you know, moment or, you know, in their success. And they want a, um, a Range Rover. Range Rover was never my car of choice. Um, I, my thing is, hold on, I got to sneeze and it's not coming. It's like right there on the tip. You know how like you, you sneeze? It's like right there. Y'all see, I broke my nail. Damn. I broke my nail. And I don't do acrylics, but they're going to put some nails on my ass. Yeah, I'm getting a full makeover. They're going to put nails on me and everything. But I was like, well, can I have the ones that come off? I don't want no acrylics. I really, really don't. I was like, well, can I just have them to come off later? <laughs> It was like, okay, well, that's what you want. You want press holes? I want press holes. So, y'all, I'm getting full makeover. I, they, they got hair and makeup, and we're going to redo these lashes. And, yeah, so you know how, like, when you're watching shows and, like, on all those shows, and then they show, you know, what's going on, and then they show them standing, and they're just talking, and they're talking about the scene and what happened and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so that's what I got to do. And But when you do that, if you notice when they're, you know, showing bits and portions of the show and then they, once again, the camera flips and then it shows Chrissy talking about why well, I just had to leave or what, whatever it was. It's like, oh, let me turn this way. I know I'm just kind of, y'all, what is that on top of that shelf back there in the back? You know, you see things that you just don't know, ordinarily see. Hmm. I see a thing back there. You see it? Isaiah, I bet you Isaiah put that up there. That's his kind of work. He did that. My lips is dry as shit. I got to get my teeth whitened again. Well, we, we, we think we want to... 
I was like, well, they're not white enough. They were like, well, yeah, they're white, but I mean, that is an option. If Do you want your teeth rewhitened? But, you know, my thing is it made my teeth, the enamel of my teeth so sensitive. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm already using Sensodyne because my shit is real, you know, real um, sensitive already. So I'm kind of, do I, can I go without that? So, but anyway, whatever they have me to do is just, it's just part of it. I've already signed my papers. I got to do what the fuck I got to do. It just is what it is. But anyway... Um, so yeah, I had spoke on perhaps it could be a woman, but perhaps it may not be. It's just the fact that he's battling some things. He's going through some things financially. You know, dude ain't really hot like he used to be. You know what I mean? I mean, my, I don't know if motherfuckers really buying this shit. I don't know if the nigga just lukewarm. I don't, you know, I don't know what he sings or raps or whatever. I don't, I've never bought none of his music. I can't name shit he sang or what he do. But apparently he is, you know, made a mark in that industry and people know him for, you know, certain things. And he probably more of an East Coast cat. And by me being on the West, like over here, DJ Quick means some shit. But probably in the Bronx, uh, DJ Quick, nigga, you is lukewarm, nigga. You is nothing, nigga. Nothing. So, you know, it's like, you know, so I don't know. I really don't know this guy's background. And I don't want to speak or pass judgment about him or call him this and that. He did seem a little grungy, like a little... You know, I sensed a little uncleanliness about him. You know how, like, some men, they just don't change their drawers as much as we do. It's just something about him that just doesn't seem really clean to me. Not really, I don't know, it's hard for me to kind of put my finger on it, but he just doesn't seem as clean. I don't know. Could be me. I don't know. I don't know. Just my own take on it. But either way, I saw so much drive in her to make it right and to... You know, to have a family and so many other things. And I'm like, damn, bitch, you've been with this dude all as many years. You guys had no children, which is okay. Because that is a hell of a responsibility. But I'm hoping you got some insurance on his ass, being that you've been with him all that many years, bitch. You never made wife, but my hope is that you, you know what I'm saying, you made yourself cool. Um, a lot of women don't think about that. And a lot of women don't know... See, Sebastian is over there, and he's trying to sleep, and she's fucking with him, you know. So a lot of that right there is what's going on, and that's crazy because this is the shit she do to him all day. She rides his back. She bites his ears, pull, yanks at his tail. She be on his ass all day, and he's just like, bitch, leave me alone. So, yeah, but anyway, but I kind of sensed some type of something. He's battling some things, and... But if you guys notice that people that do, uh, you know, have a substance abuse problem or battling that, you know, same thing. But a lot of times their personality changes. One time they could be one person and the next moment they somebody else and they're combative and all that other kind of old shit. I've seen it. Though I've never, Tony has never battled a substance abuse problem. He can't with his job. They just ain't going to go for it, nigga. You got to control these planes and shit in and out of the sky. They do, like, random shit, nigga. They take some shit off your motherfucking mustache. Poop. Test that right there. You know, Tony don't even smoke reefer. Damn, was that an old term? That was an old term. Tony don't even smoke chocolate tide. Let me just say that. He don't fuck with no endo, no chocolate tide, no perp, no none of that. He ain't on none of that. And he has to stay pencil sharp because he has to make sure these flights, these planes land and go and all that other shit that these flights do in the air. So, nah, them guys, they cannot be on some other shit because, nigga, you will lose your job, pension, all that motherfucking shit. So, nah, he don't, he's never battled with any of that type of stuff or even drank. I think um, there's every once in a blue moon that, you know, Tony even drinks a beer. He's just that kind of guy. That kind of guy. I was going to call him a cat. But either way, but that was my take on it. You guys take from what you want from it. If I'm, you know, completely off, off bases or whatever, it is what it is. Um... Y'all, let me go. Let me upload this shit. I got some running around to do. I got to take care of some shit, buy some extra groceries for the kids because I'm going to be in L.A. for a couple days. So, um, I got some shit to do. On that note, let me go. I got to run. Deuces. I love you. Bye.